The best techniques are passed on by the survivors. Gaiden Sinji Blademaster. First era, blankety blank. Can't read fast enough. For centuries, different factions battled in petty wars and border conflicts until in 2E896, Tibir Septim crushed all of those who opposed him and took control, proclaiming himself as emperor. Still, the bitter years of war had its effect on the populace. The name Tamriel, Elvish, for dwarf, ah, different sides of the same coin, tossed every day. And the people of the known world began calling the land of their sorrow the arena. Now, 492, 492 years after Tibur Septum took control and kept peace, the land of arena has a new threat. The emperor... It is said that hope flies on death's wings. Prepare then for as the Elder Scrolls. Wow. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Elder Scrolls Arena. I am going to be giving this a shot. I don't know how much of it I'm going to be playing, but I have kind of wanted to check it out. Let's get into it and see what this is all about. Uriel Septim IV, Emperor of Tamriel, stands with Jalin, leader of the Imperial Guards. They have been summoned by Jaeger Tharn, Imperial Battle Mage of the Empire. Um, the Emperor is betrayed and transported to a dimension of Tharn's choosing. After months of preparation, Jaeger Tharn takes the throne. Rhea Silmain, once Tharn's apprentice, is captured before she can warn the Elder Council of the Imperial blank blank manipulating the essence of magic. Tharn prepares to take the true Emperor's place. Blankety blank. The Imperial Wizard wastes no time in gathering his servants and is and turning them into twisted counterparts of the Emperor's guard. <laughs> well, that was uh, quite the music change. All right, so I think let's generate. Yeah, let's generate our glass. Ten questions shall be asked that will determine the path of your destiny. Scroll bars, roll the parchment up or down. Use the A, B, or C keys to answer the questions. Well, those are just spread all around the fort, aren't they? First off, I want to point out this music is insanely loud, so I hope you guys can hear what I'm saying. On a clear day, you chance upon a strange animal, its leg trapped in a hunter's claw snare. Judging from the bleeding, it will not survive long. Do you draw your dagger mercifully, ending its life with a single thrust? Where is the scroll button? I'm trying to, I just, I can't, I can't even. Oh, like that. Okay, that's confusing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> B, do not interfere with the natural evolution of events, but rather take the opportunity to learn more about a strange animal that you have never seen before. C, use herbs from your pack to put it to sleep, then free it from the claw snare, and take it somewhere where it can be safe, knowing that in doing so, you'll probably deprive a hunter and his family of sustenance. We're gonna go with C. Arms Master Festal, during a lesson on strategy, remarks, the best victory is to completely and totally humiliate your opponent. He then turns to you and asks you if you agree with him. You know the Arms Master has been in numerous life and death conflicts and has the experience of a seasoned warrior. You agree with his remark knowing that at this moment, your experience is not enough to justify any stance, but total agreement with whatever your arms master says, a man who has dis dedicated his life to strategy. Disagree with his remark, reasoning that it must be some type of test and that the truth will only come from opposition with his opinion and not sheep-like agreement. C. Refuse to answer the question, choosing to withhold on opinion until you have more experience and can converse on the subject in an intelligent manner with him. It's another C for me, dog. One night, walking home, you are attacked by a young man you know from Arms Master Festal's class. You defend yourself ably to knock him unconscious while he is out. You tie him up, intending to interrogate him later. When he wakes up, you want to know why he attacked you. You can then turn him into the Arms Master at your leisure. Slit his throat. You know him from class and think he would have done the same had your positions been reversed. 
Leave him with a visible scar, the knowledge of his defeat, at your hands, and the visible reminder pun punishment enough for one who has resorted to such a dishonorable tactic. We're gonna go with A. You have a great aunt and a great uncle living in two different nearby villages. Both of whom have asked your father to allow you to live with them for a few weeks. Your father knows where he plans to send you, but he is curious about your opinions. Given the choice, would you rather live with your great aunt, a wise old woman of considerable wealth, living in luxury for a few weeks could not only be enlightening, it could also be very interesting. Live with your great uncle, a sick old man who has always been something of a stranger to you. A few weeks with him, maybe arduous? I don't know what that word is. But he is in more need of your help than your great aunt. Think of a way to divide your time between your great aunt and great uncle. Perhaps you will not be able to spend as much time with either as much as you would like, but neither would be left out. I'm gonna go with C. Your father sends you on a task which you loathe, cleaning the stables. On the way there, pitchfork in hand, you run into your friend from the homestead near your own. He offers to do it for you in return for a future favor of his choosing. Do you decline his offer knowing that your father expects you to do the work and it is better not to be in debt? Accept his offer reasoning that as long as the stables are cleaned, it matters not who does the cleaning. Ask him to help you knowing that two people can do the job faster than one and agree to help him with one task of his choosing in the future. We're gonna go with A. A good friend of yours is in love with a girl from a neighboring village. A girl who barely knows him. He is extremely shy and inexperienced and he pleads for your help. Would you suggest he go to her immediately and declare his love? If the relationship is to be, he needs to be honest from the start. You offer to accompany him to the village for support. Find out more about this girl using any contact he can find in her village. He will not be so shy as he knows something about her and may even find out she is not the right girl for him. Let you help him write anonymous love letters and poems to see her reaction without needing to face her directly. If the reaction is favorable, he can talk to her friends in the village and arrange an accidental meeting. We're gonna go with B. Because you expressed interest, Arms Master Festal told you a few hints about recognizing magical weaponry. Later, you are practicing archery with a few friends. One boy who was never a strong archer has become something of a sharpshooter. You suddenly realize that he is using magical arrows. What do you do? Tell the others about the arrows in a friendly archery match. Using magical arrows is cheating. Tell your friend you notice that he was using magical arrows and if he doesn't get you some, you will tell the Arms Master and the others the reason behind his improvement. Say nothing. If you have a need for magical arrows, you can always mention something to him later. After all, magic is not really a cheat. It is a different skill. We're going to go with C. An old man stops you on the way to market, claiming to have been robbed. He is lying on the trail and seems gravely injured. He asks you to run to town to get the constable. You give him your word that you will go directly to town and bring the constable back. As you make your way back, you notice a suspicious man creeping along another trail. He doesn't seem to notice you yet. Do you follow the man reasoning that if this man is the robber, you could lead the constable directly to him and safeguard other travelers? although it would mean breaking your word. Take note of him, but continue on reasoning that the man on the trail is hurt too badly and stop regardless of any other consideration. Take note of him, but continue on reasoning that your word is your band and that it takes precedence over anything else. We're gonna go with B. You and your best friend buy your first daggers together. A matched pair. You loan him the amount since he doesn't have enough gold and he agrees to pay you back later. After leaving the shop, you and he sit down to marvel at your new weapons. To your dismay, you notice that there is a small notch on the blade of the dagger you selected. Your friend asks you to please watch his weapon for him while he runs an errand. Do you? A, wait for your friend's return, then point out the flaw in your dagger and return to the weapon shop to demand a refund. B, switch the daggers, rationalizing that since you paid for them, you should get the first choice and that if your friend ever notices the notch, you can always take him back to the weapon shop and get a refund. C, keep his dagger safe until his return, then switch the daggers with your best friend's knowledge justifying it with the fact that you paid for them and then offer to accompany him back to the weapon shop. We're gonna go with A. 
there is a lot of heated discussion at the local tavern over a group of people called telepaths. They have been hired by certain city-state kings. Rumor has it these telepaths read a person's mind and tell their lord whether a follower is telling the truth or not. You believe that this is a terrible practice, a person's thoughts are his own, and no one, not even the king, has the right to make such an invasion into another human's mind. Loyal followers to the king have nothing to fear from a telepath. It is important to have a method of finding assassins and spies before it is too late. In these times, it is a necessary s evil. Although you do not necessarily like the idea, a telepath could have certain advantages during a time of war or in finding someone's innocent of a crime. Uh, we're gonna go with A. Thou wouldst survive longest as a healer. Wilt thou accept this as thy destiny? Yeah! What will be thy name, healer? Ilian. It's funny, because I'm a healer. And my name's Ilian. And we are a female. From where dost thou hail, Ilian the healer? Oh, there's so many places. We're gonna be from Valenwood. Thou hast chosen Valenwood, land of the wood elves. Wouldst thou accept this as thy home? Yes. Then thou wilt be known as the healer Ilion, who wouldst call Valenwood, land of the wood elves, her home. Know ye this also, thy race is one with the forest and its creatures, and thy strength flows from the mother earth itself. Thou art one with the world. Thy body and mind must be intelligent and willful, if thou art to succeed as a healer. Go ye now in peace, let thy fate be written in the Elder Scrolls. Distribute thy points as needed, keeping in mind the recommendations for thy chosen class. I want to change the way my character looks. I don't know if I can. Done? Thou wilt now choose thy appearance. And here we are, choosing the face that I was complaining about a second ago. Thy mean... I don't know what that is. Const canst be altered by clicking thy face when thou art finished select done to enter the world of tamriel home of the arena i don't know i feel like we were already with the coolest face um i wish we could have that face but with different hair i guess we'll just stick with what we had because i think that's the coolest face out of all of them all right we're gonna hit done let's go to tamriel
Have I told you guys how loud this uh, music is? All right, so if we go south, you are in Imperial Dungeons. This is 12.03 in the afternoon. The day it is Teradus. First of Hearthfire in the year 3E389. You are currently carrying zero kilograms out of 88 kilograms. You are healthy. You awaken to the drip of water from somewhere above the cell walls are covered in slime, as are the chains that hang from above. Your eye, however, immediately goes to a strange ruby glint from the corner of your cell. Ah! Ooh, oh gosh, we can turn down the music finally. Whew, okay, that's good. Um, crank this detail up. Wow, that's really sensitive. We'll just leave it where it's at, but I will adjust it later. Um, let's save it really quick. This looks like it has nothing to fear from you. I just wanna know what this is. Probably just a emblem. Oh, a key. Oh boy. Um, how does one pick this up? Do I just step over it? No. Ah, okay, you found a ruby key. Okay, so it's just really uh, difficult. You open the door with the ruby key. Okay, so we need to head south. What is this? The corridors here seem twisted and confusing, but Rhea's instructions were to go west then south to find the shift gate. Okay, so west and then shelf, shelf, south. Uh, 44 gold pieces and a broadsword. Okay. Oh, healers can't use a broadsword, but we can use a dagger, so that's cool. Okay, so west and then south. What is this way, though? Okay, we're going west. Oh! Okay. Ah, attack! Oh. Well, that was nice. Okay, the goblin has nothing usable. That was... Heckin' scary. Skittering of many tiny clawed feet can be heard on the wet something. It seems safe to rest in these niches. Do you think the rats or other creatures may not smell you with the draft that runs so close to the floor? Wow, this is intensely scary. Why? Okay, so we went we went west. Let's go south now. Uh heck. Oh, there's something attacking us. Huh? <laughs> a rat. The rat has nothing usable. Okay. We should probably rest. Okay. So. No, that did not do anything good for us. Uh, camp until fully healed. Oh. Okay. Oh! Who are you? Why are you here? I just died. With you died our last hope for justice. Tharn is now free to do as he will. It saddens me to see the beautiful land of Tamriel rotten from within. Goodbye. I wish you peace in the afterworld. Well, you can't say I didn't try. <laughs> All right. Good thing we saved after creating our character. Am I right? Okay, let's get that key. All right, we got the key. Gate open. West and then south. Ooh, even more gold. Brown shield, long sword. I don't think we can utilize that, but we will try. Aw, nope, we can't. But we can equip the shield. Okay, so if I remember right, this needs to go into the red. So that's good. Exit, done. How did I save? <laughs> Let's do another save so that we can keep this stuff. No, climb out. Oh gosh, this is bad. This is bad, this is bad. Swim away. With you or drown. Died our With you died our last hope. Okay, this game's hard. Let's do this. <laughs> We're gonna get out of this dungeon. Come on. I have magic. Oh, I missed. I tried. No, they don't. They don't want to come over this way. I just want to hit them with the spell. Oh, not enough spell points. Okay. Well, can't say I didn't try. Screw those guys. We're going this way. Oh! I don't want to camp. Aha! Okay. We'll get it figured out. Ooh, a staff. I see a goblin. Where? 
Okay, so what's the staff do? Nothing. We will stick with this. All right, unless the staff gives us more reach. Damage one to eight, one to six. Okay, we'll use the staff, I guess. We are going to save. It's gonna be a lot of saving in this, I think. I would like to, no, it's not, it's not letting me. Must not be anything in there. I don't know. Not going that way. Okay, let's go. Let's rest. Ooh! Got the rats. We're going to camp until fully tailed. Hopefully. Uh oh. It's that fucking we guy again. Ah, uh, okay, so we can't <laughs> we can't just camp there. One more try. Haha! -ha! Okay, he got closer somehow. Okay, so I can see him. I don't have enough magic though. Mm. Let's save so that we can just keep trying to get rid of this one. Let's try and Ooh. Let's actually go this way. Ooh! Oh my gosh, she's blocking me off the side, so I die. I need somewhere safe to crawl out. You have cat to be kitten me. Okay. <laughs> I know I said one more, but one more. Oh. Oh. With M and F and SOB. Okay, we got closer though. Thorn is now free to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh, there's a second one. No! Not cool. Frick! Okay. With you. They're fast. They're fast little fuckers. Gotta strike down because they're short too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, I get it. Me died, your last hope. We're gonna get this guy. You're gonna get this guy so dead, it's not even funny. Ooh, wow, this starts off hard. All right. With you died our last hope. Okay, we are going to get the dagger and the shield. Let's do that. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's equip the dagger and the shield. And then let's save. Now let's mess this guy up. Wow, he got me really good in that one hit. Oh, and now there's a whole bunch of them. That's cool. I do not like them at all. Oh, and we drown. Okay. This game's freaking impossible. Did anyone ever make it out of the dungeon is my question. Screw these guys, man. We're gonna find another way out. What was that? It sounded like a whole door opened or something. Ah! Rats. Kill an enemy, save the game. Ooh. Oh, ah. Uh. With you. Well, at least we killed a couple rats, right? I'm dying. I've made it like five feet from the beginning. Life is hard. Oh, what's this? Hey! Ah! Not what I wanted to do. I killed it. It has nothing useful. Ooh! Gold! Crystal! Saber! Gold! Amulet! Plate armor! Steel helm! Ooh, we gotta save. We're making progress. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited. Okay, let's put this stuff on and then we'll save again. Oh, healers can't equip this item. Okay. Can't equip that either. Okay. Sad. 17 charges left in the crystal. An amulet. So, I don't know. Would it be in the spell book? I don't know. What do I do with the crystal? No. Okay. I don't know. I just want to be magic again. Okay, let's save really quick and then we're gonna try sleeping.
Oh, okay. Ah! Wait, <laughs> that was heckin' useless. The guy was probably right behind me. All right, so I'm there. Guess we can go up this way. Ah! Ha ha! Yeah, take that. Oh, there's more. I hear more. Ah! He got me! At least we're slowly progressing. That's all that really matters. I just wish we could heal, but heckin' can't. Seems safe to rest in these niches. Okay, so let's try resting up here. Yay! Okay, we're making progress. All right, let's save. Making, we're figuring it out. All right, you stupid thingamathingers. Ha! I didn't even hear him come up behind me because the sound's a little off right now. Screw that little goblin. Ha! -ha. Eat that, little bugger. Who's next? The visibility in this game sucks. <laughs> oh, it makes it so hard. But I mean, I guess it makes sense because we are in a dungeon, so it should be dark. Yes, I understand that I can sleep in those things. I don't know if you noticed, but I've already used one. Ah! Yes. Yes! We leveled up. <laughs> yeah! Will endurance help my health? Helps my fatigue. I just want my health to go up. Gotta sleep and save. I see you have strengthened your arm and your mind. It is time we began this journey. This is the Staff of Chaos. The one item that can open the door between this world and the dimension to which the Emperor has been banished. Tharn used this item to destroy my corporeal form when I tried to warn the cancer. He knew that the Staff of Chaos was nigh indestructible, having been made from the essence of the land itself. But in that, he found the key. As the land is split, so did he shatter the Staff into eight perfectly formed pieces. These he scattered across the realm. I have been able to define the location of the first piece. A place called Thane Lair. It is said that Thane Lair was originally built by the dwarves of Kragan. Legend has it that a great worm drove the dwarves from their home in the dragon's teeth and took the lair for itself. I only wish I knew the exact location. Perhaps there are sages or scholars who would know of this place. Somewhere in its dank depths lies the first piece of the Staff of Chaos. I wish you well. I do not think Thar knows of your escape, but I can do little else in this form. I have tried to obscure your identity with a spell, but I do not know how well it will hide you. Take care, for Thar may be searching. Go forth with the blessings of the true Emperor and myself. I am healed. All right. Well, um, I think this is a really good spot for me to pause because we just got a bunch of story and stuff. And I've been playing for quite a bit longer than it's probably going to seem because there was a lot of me uh, just dying back to back to back to back until I realized that I have to sleep up in these little uh, these little cubby spaces right here. So I'm going to save right here and I'm going to scoot it all out of here and I hope to see y'all in the next one. I'm excited to pick this one back up. It's, uh, it's kind of fun. There's definitely some story going to it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, a great night, whatever time it is for you. Take care, take it easy and peace out.